like it or not There is a moment meant for us And now you may Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you this New Year's Eve makeup tutorial. It's very glam, full coverage, sparkly, everything that I want in a New Year's look. I really love this makeup look. I love the colors that I use and I just love the sparkly glitter lid. It's kind of like that wet lid look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And to see future videos, don't forget to subscribe as well. There will be a link down below in the description box or you could just click the subscribe button. And you can also hit the little bell by the subscribe button to get you notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holidays and I hope you have a great New Year's Eve as well. Stay safe. Call an Uber, do what you gotta do, boo. Don't drink and drive. I hope you guys enjoy this. Thank you so much for watching. Without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started with the makeup tutorial. Getting started, we're gonna use a primer. This is the NARS eyeshadow primer. It's the smudge proof eyeshadow base, I believe. I love it, I've been using it for so long. If you have oily eyelids and just want a clear primer, this is the way to go because nothing creases, I promise you, not even this glitter. So then I'm gonna use this Japanese palette. It's an all matte palette with neutral shades. It's literally perfect, can go with any different look. I use the cream to set that primer in place and then I'm using the mid-tone brown that I'm putting on right now all into my crease and a little bit up towards the brow. We don't want to go above this first shade that we put on. Then we're going in with the second darkest brown and we're going to put this right below that color and into the crease and also into the outer V. And then the next step we're going to use the darker shade and go a little bit below the second shade that we just put on and blend it out. These first few steps are pretty basic and easy and honestly you could just do this, put a wing liner on, red lip, nude lip, whatever you're feeling and you could be set for New Year's, you know what I'm saying? So just an easy step by step look that shouldn't be too difficult to get. Now to the start of the show, I'm using this Estee Edit palette and I'm using this green right here. If you've been watching my videos, you know I love green eyeshadows. I just think they are absolutely stunning. So I'm going to be fluffing this into the crease and in the inner and outer corner of my eye. I am going to leave the center of the lid a little bit bare, but don't worry if you do get a little bit of color there because we're going to go over it with glitter. But you just want to build this shade up, really get that green to pop, and just make sure you're blending in circular motions so that you don't have any harsh lines. Now I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. This brush is key. I love it. And I'm going to get right in that inner corner. Then I'm taking the Too Faced Glitter Glue. This is literally glue for your glitter. That's why they call it that. It's absolutely amazing. And I promise you nothing falls, nothing creases. It's the best. Taking this Urban Decay Moon Dust shadow or glitter liner I don't know what they call it but this is in the color chemtrail it's amazing you guys oh my god it is so pigmented and it does not burn my eyes which is amazing for me I've tried the NYX glitters which you can still try those but they did burn my eyes and this is just awesome it's very pigmented and I'm gonna put that on the center of my lid and then I'm going to blend it out with a brush just by tapping it and really pushing it onto my eye then this is kind of like the key to this. I'm going to take that smaller brush again with that green and I'm going to blend out the edges of this Kim Trill. And when you do this, it really enhances some of that jewel toned green on your eye. It is just beautiful. This really makes green pop. I think if you use the Estee Edit palette with like Fix Plus or something, it's going to be the most beautiful intense green ever. I mean, it's beautiful without it, but it just really pops when you wet it. Then I'm taking this new Makeup Forever Star Lit Powder, I believe is what it's called. And I don't know if these have launched yet. I did get it in a PR package, but you could use a really light highlighter or whatever you wanted. A really light shimmery eyeshadow as well. And I'm just going to put this right on top of that glitter just to really make it pop and give it that wet lid look. I feel like this completed the whole eyeshadow look. It really made everything pop and I also used it as a face highlighter as well. Blend out any harsh edges that you have, and then I'm using these Eyelore Lashes in Luxe Gilded. It's amazing. They have these at Ulta. They're in the drugstore section. Using my regular primers that I love, I'm just going to prime my face. If you're interested, I will have everything linked down below in the description box. Using my Sonia Kashuk Satin Matte Foundation. I cannot get away from this foundation. <laughs> it's so good. I just love it. It's a full coverage foundation. I'm using my Japanese sponge to really blend this in. Don't mind my self-tan hands because they're a hot mess. Do you see that line? I have to fix it. I know I do. <laughs> 
So I'm just going to blend this out and then I'm going in with these concealers. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape right in the inner part of my eye to cover up some of my darkness. Then I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way on the rest of my face just to highlight since I don't really need a lot of coverage on the rest of my face. I'm just using a lighter concealer to lighten it up. After I blended that out, I'm going to bake with my Flower Beauty powder and then I do fill in my brows. I didn't show you guys filling in my brows because my brows have been a mess lately. I just can't get them normal. I don't like them. So I'm just going to move on to dusting away my baking. So I'm going to bronze now with this Neutrogena, no, can I say it? Neutrogena bronzer. It's amazing. I love it. You're going to see it in my yearly favorites. I mean, I just can't get enough of it. You know, when you find that one true love, you just can't get away. Next up, I'm contouring with this e.l.f. powder right here. I love this. It's the Pressed Mineral Powder in Caramel Cabana. Really great contouring color. If you want to check out some of my drugstore favorites, I'll have two of the videos I've just done recently linked down below. So you can check out what I love, why I love them, and see some recommendations. Taking this Marc Jacobs blush in Lines and Last Night, and I'm going to put this on my cheeks, and then taking that Makeup Forever powder again that I use on my eyes, and I'm going to put this on my cheeks and just highlight my face with this. I also put that same powder underneath my brows to highlight that as well. Moving on to eyeliner, I'm taking my NARS Via Veneto eyeliner and I'm going to put this on my waterline. Then taking the black in this palette, I'm going to put <laughs> I'm going to push this up against my lower lash line and then blend it out with one of the shades from the Japanese palette. <laughs> everything off with this mascara from Benefit Roller Lash. I'm going to put this on my bottom lashes and a little bit on my top. And then I used a Makeup Forever lip pencil. I believe it's in the shade number 13. I'll have it linked down below. And I'm using this Essence. I think they call it a liquid lipstick, but it's definitely a lip gloss. But it's really pretty and lasts for a really long time. And then after that, you are all set. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. Thank you so much for watching. Have a safe new year. Thank you guys for making this such a great year. And I will see you in 2017. Teen! Woohoo! <laughs> I get around despite the loss. I'm over here, gotta get across.